Ta-da! So what I want to show you how to do is graph y equals 2x squared plus 2x. And one thing to notice is our quadratic equation is now in the form of y equals ax squared plus bx. So that's going to change a couple things that we've done before. We need to make sure the first thing we do is find our axis of symmetry. Because when graphing, we need to make sure when we create um, a table of values, we need to make sure we pick two points to the left and two points to the right of the axis of symmetry. So remember, the equation for the axis of symmetry is opposite of b divided by 2a. Well, in this case, I have my a equals 2, which is the coefficient of my quadratic term. And then my b is equal to 2, which is the coefficient of my linear term. So therefore, in this case, I have, let's see, negative 2 divided by 2 times 2, which equals negative 2 over 4, which equals a negative 1 half. So in graphing my quadratic, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to plot uh, my axis of symmetry. So I have negative 1, negative 2. So at negative 1 half, that's going to be halfway between 0 and 1. I'm just going to draw this nice little dotted line right here. OK. Now what I need to do is I just need to pick two points to the left and two points to the right of my quadratic. So I'm going to create now a table of values. And what I'm going to do is now I'm going to want to choose values that are to the left and to the right of negative 1 half. So I say, all right, well, here's negative 1 half. And I need to seem to pick two values to the left and to the right. Well, let's see, negative 1 is to the left, and so is negative 2. And to the right, I could say we could have 0 and 1. Then to evaluate for my points, remember we just take these x coordinates and we plug them into our equation to find the y coordinate. So I have y equals 2 times negative 2 squared plus 2 times negative 2. Remember to make sure you plug in your x coordinate for both values of your x inside your equation. Here you have y equals 2 times negative 1 squared plus 2 times negative 1. 2 equals um, 2 times negative 1 half squared plus 2 times negative 1 half y equals 2 times 0 squared plus 2 times 0. And here I have y equals 2 times 1 squared plus 2 times 1. All right, so now we just need to kind of do the math to figure out what my y coordinates are going to be. So um, maybe I'll have a little bit of room. Maybe I'll, do the, maybe I'll do the work over here. So if I have negative 2 squared is positive 4 times 2 is 8 and then minus 4. 8 minus 4 is just going to give me 4. Over here, I have negative 1 squared, which is 1, times 2. And that's going to be minus 2, which is going to give me 0. Here I have negative 1 half squared, which is 1 fourth, times 2, which is 1 half, plus 2 times negative 1 half, which is um, negative 1, which that's going to give me negative 1 half. Then I have 0. 0 squared is 0. Times 2 is 0. Plus 2 times 0 is 0. And then also I have 1 squared is 1. Times 2 is 2. Plus 2 is going to be 2 plus 2, which equals 4. Now it's very important to remember, here's my axis of symmetry. Notice the coordinate points are exactly the same for the y coordinates to the left and to the right of our axis of symmetry. That's why it's so important to find this axis of symmetry first. Because we don't want to pick points to the left, because then we might not know what the quadratic equation looks like. So now let's go and plot our points. So at negative 1, I have 0. At negative 1 half, I go down to negative 1 half. At 0, I have 0. At 1, I have 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And at negative 2, I have 4. So my graph. It's going to look something like that, where you can see now my axis of symmetry has split my quadratic evenly in half. So now let's go and take a look at our vertex. Now remember the vertex is the maximum or the minimum point of our graph. Notice that this graph is going to continually keep on going up, so there's not going to be a maximum point. But our minimum point, you can see, is right this dot down there. Now we actually had to plot that dot. And that plot, the dot, has the same x coordinate as our axis of symmetry. And our y coordinate is going to be the other point that we need it. So our vertex occurs at negative 1 half, comma, negative 1 half. Notice how the axis of symmetry runs through your vertex. Then we look at our x-intercepts. 
So our x-intercepts in this case, you can see that my graph crosses at negative 2, 0 and 0, 0. And our y-intercepts is where the graph crosses the y-intersect. And it only crosses there 1 at the point 0, 0. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you graph an equation in y equals ax squared plus bx form. Thanks.